Welcome back, everybody, to episode three of the Unknown Server playthrough, or whatever this is being called. I still really don't know. Uh, today, we are hopefully going to go and find ourselves some weed seeds, start up a little garden, and possibly start experimenting a little bit with the messy crystal doodad thingamabobs. Now, I say that because it's not something I've actually ever used. It's a mod I'm not familiar with, which I know is kind of hard to believe because I do a lot of mod reviews. But this is one I've never heard of and I've never reviewed, so I'm not really sure what it is exactly. But for starters, let's start on the farm. Gonna need some wheat seed. And of course, we only get wheat seed from grass, which doesn't make any sense at all. But... Who am I to argue with game mechanics? Figured out by someone obviously much wiser and smarter than myself. Um, I don't know why it's doing this. I don't know if this is a server end issue or if it's a problem on my end. Like, it keeps just ignoring anything I'm doing. Like, there's a lot of lag going on right now. Like I said, I'm not sure if it's a server issue or if it's... No, I'm not supposed to be holding a sapling. I just put the seeds there. I just keep the seeds in my hand. Okay, well, I guess we're just going to keep holding a sapling. Like I said, I'm not sure if this is issue on my end or if this is issue server side. Um, I tried recording an episode yesterday, actually, and I couldn't connect to the server at all. It just kept timing out. And then it actually timed out once before I got connected here to record it. And then it connected once, but it only loaded the first chunk that I was in, and then refused to load any further map chunk. Ooh. Refused to load any further map chunks. So I'm not sure again if this is a host or if this is a client end issue. So we're just gonna keep going around. Chopping down oh wow. Chopping down grass. This is like just a map that's horrible for navigating on. Everywhere you go, it's just drop box. Guess that's what happens when you try to pick a cool place that no one's been to. You get something that there's a reason no one's been to and built on because the terrain is garbage. Except for the cool little place where I got the house. Alright, well. Let's see see what we can get here now for the crystal doodad thing it looks like I have to have obsidian which means I'm gonna have to mine oh hey this has got to be a server side thing it's not loading this next chunk so chances are it's probably not even registering that I'm digging most of the stuff yeah, it still says I only have seven pieces of grass. Which I've dug a lot more than seven. So either the server is completely not responding to anything I am sending it. And I'm just doing all this in the locally cached world. Which is possible. I'll pull up chat. Uh, I'm just giving the IRC stuff. People joining and leaving. And again, I'm going back to holding saplings. Instead of... Yeah, I have a feeling this is not working. And I... Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, something just happened. Okay, it just registered a bunch of stuff. I'm going to say probably a server-side issue. Let's see what happens when we dig this. We're sitting at 17 still. Okay. So there has got to be something kind of funky going on server side. Wait, now it might be working. 22 grass, 11 seeds. Still 22. Let's turn chat off. We don't need that on. Oh. Uh, nope, we're just sticking at 22 now. Hmm. Well, that's annoying. Well, let's go ahead. Oh, I see jungle wood. Good. I did want to see what other types of wood were available. 
I'm not sure what version of my test game is being run on the server, so I don't know which trees are all included. Obviously, we have just the normal default wood here. Kind of want to see if like pine was available, because pine's a nice color for doing floors. It's a light color, so all of the shoe marks show. And no, there aren't shoe marks, but IRL there would be. Alright, let's see if we can get there without dying. We've got mushrooms, which and big deal. I'm wondering if there's the birch or the pine. Those again are both newer additions. I think they but both might be new to 04.14. Unless of course he was running with the dev version. In which case he would have had them a little earlier than that. But we got some jungle wood up ahead, so we're gonna we's gonna nab some of this. Ooh, we could try to get some cotton seeds too. By digging this jungle grass. Because, you know, it makes Makes complete sense for jungle grass to give you cotton seeds and normal grass to give you wheat seeds. Evidently, it doesn't want me to dig that, so I guess we won't. Which, that makes no sense because I can dig wood and that works fine. But I tried digging the grass and it. Oh, wait, and now. <sighs> this is horrible lag. I'm assuming it's gotta be a server issue. Because I got great network speed going right now. And I'm not uploading. I'm not downloading. I'm not sending any data through other than just gameplay here. And by gameplay, I don't mean like live streaming. I'm recording this locally, and then we'll edit and upload. So all I'm. You know, I'm just doing packets of things that I've changed, i.e., terrain, terrain modifications. Wait, I was holding on to those or something. How did I get obsidian? Where did I get that? Well, cool. I honestly do not remember. I must have, but I don't remember that at all. Hmm. Oh, well, whatever. Let's keep chopping this jungle tree up here. 14... We get like 20. That'll give us 80 jungle planks. That might be enough for the floor. Jungle plank usually wouldn't be my first choice for flooring material. But it is different than the walls. And it's it's the little things that matter, you know. If everything's all the same color. It just gets kind of plain and boring. So we're going to do that. All right, running back to the house. And actually, you know what? Why waste time running back to the house? We can just spawn right to the house. Dark wood floors. I mean, there's nothing wrong with a dark wood floor. And then, uh, yeah, I just got to dig all this dirt out. And then place these beautiful mahogany wood floors. It'll look like somebody very rich lives here. And this is going to be super boring to watch. So I will think of something entertaining. Wah! Think of something entertaining to talk about. Such as Google Guides. Or wait, Local Guides. Local Guides is what it's called. Um, so yeah, I am a Local Guide level 3 now. And for any of you who don't know what Local Guides are, which I would imagine is probably a lot of people because I don't feel like it's something Google really promotes or even makes a lot of mention about. Uh, local guides are, it's basically a program that Google has in place for Google Maps and what you do is you just, you go around, take pictures of local businesses or I guess technically they don't have to be a local business, I mean any business, but local more so than otherwise because those are the ones you're going to be around more. Uh, pretty much you just, you can submit pictures of them, you can do reviews, uh, correct any incorrect data. So, for example, I'm sure you've all used Google Maps. It tells you like businesses, hours, websites, telephone numbers, the address. You can look at pictures, all of that stuff. Well, in the local guides program, you pretty much submit that information. 
So you can submit pictures, you can submit store hours if there aren't any, or if there's a mistake in them, you can correct them. Uh, where they're located on the map, I actually had one. On, so this past Saturday I went out on my bike, bicycle, and I took a lot of pictures. I want to say like a hundred-ish pictures. And I did take multiples of some businesses from different angles and stuff. So I went through and I was uploading all of these pictures to Google Maps. And now the reason, of course, anybody would do this is because there's little perks you get from Google for submitting stuff to Google Maps. So I am at a level three right now, which, eh, the perks aren't that hot. Level four, however, they give you a free terabyte of Google Drive storage is what I'm aiming for. Points are awarded to level up based on businesses that you submit data for. So for example, if you take 20 pictures of one place, that gives you one point. Even though there's 20 pictures, you get one point. If you do a review, you get one point. Now I've read conflicting information on the actual official site. One made it sound like if you did a review for a place, you get a point, and if you do a picture for the same place, you get another point. But then elsewhere it said points are awarded on location basis, which makes it sound like you could do a review and do pictures and only get one point for both if it's on the same thing. So I'm not positive, but most of these places are places I've never gone to. And I was just riding past on my bicycle and snapping pictures, which, I don't know. Probably people driving their cars down the streets. Wait, that was all full of floor. I hate lag. I hate it so much. Oh, hey, wait, wow, this is kind of cool. Yeah, let's watch the floor evolve. Network congestion. I'm assuming on the part of the server because... Like I said, I got fine network going on right now here. Anyway, so people were probably thinking there was something a little weird with this guy riding a bicycle with like a $600 camera taking pictures of buildings. They're probably like, yo, what's going on here, man? But yeah, let them think what they want to think. So yeah, it was a really fun time. I was out for about an hour and 20 minutes. Just taking a ton of pictures. Still haven't gotten them all uploaded. But... So it happens when you're using a Canon Rebel and you're taking them at the highest quality, of course, and then uploading them all to Google Maps at highest quality. We're looking at like six or seven megabytes a picture. So in some places I did like six or seven pictures of. But yeah, it was good. So and now uh, I still have more to upload, actually. I'm just going to keep up at it and at some point get the free storage from Google, which will be cool. I don't know what I need it for because I, uh, I have more than enough external hard drives. Okay, why won't this just stay there? Okay, floor is good. Floor is good. I think the floor is going to stay good. Garden growing a little bit, tiny bit. Let's go back to spawn. Um, did I type that wrong? No, no, I didn't. I got seven five dollar bills. I think that should be enough to buy me those crystal things. Whoa, 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 Sean, dude, man. Whoa, what's this little button for? Oh well, I'm not worried about it. I'm not trying to hit a little button. Oh, I have to have a. Can I buy those? Ooh, I can. Excellent. 20 money cash. Whoa, wait, I need $25 bills to get one messy crystal? Are you kidding me? I don't even know how you earn money. Other than from digging. Shh, man. What's this? I need nine crystals to get one crystal seed. I need two messy crystals to get... One of these bell things which you have to use to harvest the seeds. Well then. Well, well, well. Wait a minute, what is this? 
I can sell ten papyrus for one five dollar bill. Well, I think I know what I'm doing. Off to harvest some papyrus, man. Um, we'll just run through here real quick. I thought I had seen papyrus off to the side here. Ooh, wait, there's some is. But it looks like that might be Greenwoods. Greenwood, yo, big shout out, man. You are at some point going to be famous. Because what is this goofy floating thing sitting above there? It looks kind of weird. Right there, there's this little white thing. Anyways, Greenwood, one day you will be famous because you were mentioned in a video that I made. What is with this terrain? This just looks like super griefed. Like somebody just went through with dynamite or something and just was blowing this stuff up like there was no tomorrow. This is horrible. Alright. I am not seeing any papyrus. Other than that suction of papyrus that looks like it was Greenwoods. And I'm not going to go steal papyrus from Greenwood. Or from anybody else for that matter. Uh, looks like we got a little lake coming up in the distance here. Let's see if there's any papyrus. Ooh, shader bug. Super dark. A torch would fix that, but... Ooh, hey, there are pine trees. But I'm not going to spend a torch to do that. <sighs> so I could have made my floor out of pine instead of jungle wood. Though it looks like somebody has gone through and pretty much harvested all of the pine from the bottom half that they could reach on almost all of these trees around here. Unacceptable, guys. Unacceptable. First, I don't really know how you would reach up to the trees to get that stuff. Okay, so by and large, it looks like I can't get any pine wood because there's no way to reach it. So we're just going to go ahead and hop home. Are you kidding me? All right, well, we're going to leave the floor alone. I can fix that off camera. I fixed that twice. Don't think you guys really want to watch me fix it again. We are going to scout along the water's edge here. We can get down without dying and find us some papyrus. And then... I will make a little papyrus farm. Ooh, I see some. I see a whole slew of it. Good. Perfect. Excellent. Every... Was it 10? 10 papyrus gives me $5. So, I'm going to just grab a whole bunch of it here. And... I'm going to throw me some papyrus. I should just see if... Uh, whoa. should just see if they won't just give me what I need so I can properly review things. No! 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 Come back. I accidentally hit Q on the keyboard. 32. 36. I don't know what that just went me to. 40. It looks like you get 4 per stack. Which makes sense. They grow 4 tall. 68 of them. Oh yeah, this is going to be most profitable. I'm going to need a lot to get $20. Off. And that's just for one messy crystal. And then I need multiple messy crystals to get the other stuff. <sighs> I'm going to spend so much time doing this. I'm not going to have any time to play. Alright, well. Here's what we're going to do. I'm just going to grab a bunch of papyrus here. Then head right back. Oh wait, do I not have space in my inventory to hold more? I'll throw out the grass. I don't need grass. I could also throw out this blue geranium. I could also throw out some jungle grass. I don't need that either. Jungle grass, blue geraniums. Stuff's all overrated. There we go. Come on. Why is the lag so bad? I don't think I've ever experienced this kind of lag in any other server I've played on. And I don't know why we're experiencing this. I don't know if the server is just overloaded. I mean, it looks like there's like four other people playing. Three other people. There's a total of four, it looks like. Myself included. I shouldn't be doing this. So I have to imagine it's either on a shared server, and there are other 
maps hosted on it, and one of those other maps must be very busy. Or there's just bad internet connection for whatever reason right now at server level. Which is entirely possible, seeing how it sounds like this is just hosted on someone's home PC. And let's admit it, home internet is usually not as quick as enterprise. Alright, so we're back home. I'm just going to dig this one out because it annoys me. And then we'll leave that alone. Okay, so we're going to need a wet patch. And I think I'll just do this. Just surround the papyrus around the water. And I don't actually know if you have to have water to grow papyrus or not. I've always done it that way, but I'm not sure if that's actually a requirement. I'm going to get rid of this tree because I believe the papyrus needs light to grow. As does wheat. But that looks like we'll all be good there. This should start to decay soon, hopefully. This is already growing, so that is super. Like, super duper super. Grab these saplings. I don't know what I need the saplings for necessarily, but take them anyways, right? It's always good to have extra stuff that you don't need. Because at some point it might come in handy. Alright, so I have a lot of papyrus right now. Let's go ahead and go back to spawn. Let's sell this papyrus and see what we can get ourselves. Da, 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 da. $24. Now I need to buy a messy crystal. $20 gets me one. Um, 20 money cash on the short five. One default messy crystal. There we go. Okay, so I have one messy crystal now. And I think I need nine crystals to get one crystal seed. Dude! Dude! How am I ever going to get that kind of stuff? It's going to take a long time is what it's going to do. I should probably make a chest real quick. I should probably do it locked. So I don't have any protection going on right here. And, uh... Yeah, without protection, anybody could just come in and grab this stuff. And I don't really feel like just carrying everything on me. So we're going to chuck some of these things in there that I don't need. Obsidian there, the water bucket I don't need. Um, the rest of the stuff I think I'll keep on. Well, slabs I don't need. And the rest of the stuff I think I'll just keep on me, because this is all... Kind of. Oh, hey, I didn't know I had more wheat seed. I'm going to go plant it right away. Plant this, and then we will cut and come back another day. So, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching my video. Really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, would you consider giving it a thumbs up? I appreciate all those I can get. I'm on social media, peoples. Follow me Google, Twitter. Facebook. I always post all of my videos on those platforms, or links to my videos on those platforms, as soon as they go live. Which this means prior to the release on YouTube. You can watch them before anybody else. You can also visit my website, nathansalfat.com, and see all my videos there. Really nice website, if I do say so myself. I did design it, so I might be a little bit biased, but I still think it's, it's decent. If there is a mod you would like me to review, just click on the Request a View button right there. It takes you to form on my website. You just type in the information, hit the Submit button. I get it. I look at it. Record a review. Post it online. You watch. We all profit. The world's a better place. Yeah, I don't know about that last bit. But, hey, do it anyways. There's You got nothing to lose. I'll catch you next time.